Coming up, a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a potential classic in store, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers and the Toronto Thunderbirds. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the, this is the one that's the real challenge. One of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl in two weeks' time. Which will it be as we're underway in the one. NFC title game? And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And just in case you didn't know in the days leading up to the NFC title game, you definitely know now. No rookie quarterback has ever won the Super Bowl. But this is getting towards uncharted territory. This is a monster deal. If this offense believes in it, which I believe that it does, they could be the ones to break that streak. And having split time around this team, I'm starting to believe they're going to get it done. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. The tight end in motion right. Second down, another shot for Jones. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. All oh, the pressure comes, and it's blocked! Special teams putting a mark on this game early, opening drive, block punt. And for one team, it's a good mark, and for the other, not so good. And this is why special teams coaches are like designated hitters to me. They don't get very many opportunities. They need to maximize when it comes their way. And as we just said, one of them did. to play fake. Levis. He'll buy some time right. And he'll find Hall. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. That's a big league job there, getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. Yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it? And it's caught. Touchdown. Ashton Doolin there to make the grab. And the Thunderbirds have struck first in this NFC title game. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, and now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop, offense feeling their momentum that they've generated, and turning it into points on their side. So now you've got a team working together, and you've got the crowd involved fully on their side in this ball game. And in this playoff atmosphere, that 12th man means even more. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. They had no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive.
They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Here's Jones again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the end. There he goes, left side. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 54 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. They'll look to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Jones and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Now during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll try again with Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Looking to throw. Touchdown! Luke Musgrave from six yards away. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And oh, it's blocked. It's picked up a live ball here, remember. So after the block PAT, they're ready to kick this one off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. Reaching the end zone the last time, so have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know one big play though gets them right back up to that level. First and ten, it's Levis. And that's gonna be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. 
My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? A throw over the middle, taken in. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends his drive. A lot depending on the spot there, and he got it. But it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that will tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Levis back to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle is made at the Packers' 29-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Levis now off of play action. Looking left sideline, it's complete. Touchdown! Ashton Doolin. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Now for the point after. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. So that drive in total eight plays. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time I look at repeat that in Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And Franklin is just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second and nine now. Throw left side complete. That's Reed. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He'll drop to throw. He hits Dobbs on the crosser. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw. Incomplete. They have their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Again, he'll drop to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And Andrew move and a nice gain, then dropped at the 25-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Back to throw again. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. 
Here's a second and seven. A check down here to Jones. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll look to throw on third and goal. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that'll get the lead down to five. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship. The Dallas Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And I think here with the lead, CD, they have to resist that temptation to kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? Absolutely, I would agree, because they know the stakes. They know the winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl. And this one, it's far from over. They were the better team in the first half, but they do know that they're facing their toughest opponent of the year. And they've got to be prepared for them to fight it out all the way and add a few extra wrinkles in the second half as well. They need to stay on guard. Levis to throw on first and ten here. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, Levis. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. Ashton Doolin saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Thunderbirds are able to widen their advantage. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that. Truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Now the try here for the point after. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that drive spanned five plays. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that will lead you into bigger errors. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On play action, they'll throw. Open man right side is Rice. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
They'll drop to throw. And off balance slow there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. On now is the Packers punter. On for his second punt. And remember, his first one was blocked. This is taken at about the 14. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Will Levis and the offense back out there. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone described the game as really slowed down? Yeah. So right now, instead of work speed, it's just it's a uh, snail space for him, and he can do whatever he wants with it. He has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now Levis. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Hall. And he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory. 16 more on that one and another first down. Well, they go play action. Here's Levis. Firing quickly here and that's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they're going to speed things up here. Play action now. Levis rolling to his right. They'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but it certainly wasn't giving up much more than that. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to Toronto. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. So an important one there as they widen their lead in this fourth quarter. All right, partner, help me out with the math here. Make sure I am on point because the way I see it, the other guys still need two touchdowns, but in addition, a two-point conversion. So this is all about them playing perfect football from here on out. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And their dream of a Super Bowl berth so close three quarters ago, but... Obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Back to throw here. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand they can only go to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. On third down, here's Jones. But he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. And he is caught. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And now they're in the hurry up. Back to throw now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jones. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. In motion left goes Watson. 
Now a throw here, hauled in. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. They'll look to throw again. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Anthony Averett picks it, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. But we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Toronto's offense ready to take over. And the pieces have fallen into place to this point. They've got a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. A birth to the Super Bowl resting on their ability to see this one through to the end. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. You know, I was going to ask you if maybe they should surprise and pass the ball, but where they're at on the field, I think keep it on the ground, right? I like where you're going with this one because field position is going to determine these play calls. And backed up where they are, I don't even think about putting the ball in the air. I tell my running backs, grasp the football, and I tell my offensive line, don't allow any leaks so they get hit immediately when they hand it off. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. That one looks like he'll throw here. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Quick throw that's complete on the inside slam. On the move past the 40. And finally taken down at the 34. A big play there on the catch and run. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he is in the end zone for a touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Thunderbirds are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Extra point attempt here still to come. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they get to hoist the Hallis Trophy. Unbelievable victory moving on to the Super Bowl. I only hope that these players understand exactly who is behind that trophy. George S. Hallis, one of the creators of this great game of football of ours and creator of the NFL. What an amazing feeling 